Set in Moscow during the 1930s, The Master and Margarita, by Mikhail Bulgakov is a daring and enigmatic tale that weaves together elements of fantasy, satire, and political commentary. The novel opens with an eccentric and mysterious professor, Walland, arriving in Moscow with his bizarre entourage, including a massive talking black cat named Behemoth. Unbeknownst to the Muscovites, Walland is, in fact, the devil himself, and he has come to wreak havoc on the city's inhabitants. As Walland's presence causes chaos and confusion, the story shifts to the life of a struggling writer known only as the Master. The Master has penned a controversial novel about Pontius Pilate, exploring the biblical figure's moral dilemmas and doubts. However, the literary establishment rejects the Master's work, and he is driven to despair by the criticism and rejection, eventually losing his sanity. In the midst of this turmoil, we meet Margarita, the Master's devoted lover, who is deeply affected by his suffering. Margarita's life is characterized by repression and unhappiness in her loveless marriage to a wealthy but unfulfilling man. She becomes an essential figure in the narrative, serving as a foil to the wickedness unleashed by Walland. Margarita's yearning for true love and fulfillment provides a contrast to the dark forces at play in Moscow. As the novel progresses, Walland and his entourage unleash a series of bewildering and supernatural events on Moscow. They expose the city's hypocrisy, revealing the moral decay and corruption prevalent within society. Walland uses his supernatural powers to expose the true natures of people, often pushing them to their limits and beyond. These encounters lead to humorous, satirical, and philosophical discussions about human nature, free will, and the existence of good and evil. In a surreal twist, Walland hosts a lavish ball in a mysterious otherworldly realm, inviting prominent figures from Moscow's social elite. Margarita is specially invited to the ball, and she agrees to attend in hopes of finding the master and restoring his sanity. At the ball, Walland tempts the guests with the deepest desires, forcing them to confront their sins and the emptiness of their pursuits. Margarita, however, remains steadfast in her search for the master. In parallel with these events, the novel revisits the life of Pontius Pilate in ancient Jerusalem. Through dream sequences and interludes, the novel explores the inner turmoil and moral dilemmas faced by Pilate as he struggles with the decision to condemn Jesus to crucifixion. These segments shed light on the themes of judgment, responsibility, and the consequences of one's actions. As the novel nears its climax, Margarita faces a choice offered to her by Walland. She can either succumb to the dark side and embrace the supernatural powers offered to her or follow the path of love and redemption to save the master. Margarita chooses the latter selflessly embracing her love for the master and sacrificing her own desires for his well-being. In the end, the novel resolves its various plot lines in a profound and mystical denouement. The master and Margarita's journey culminates in an unforgettable and transformative climax that challenges the boundaries of reality and fantasy. Bulgakov masterfully explores the complex nature of good and evil, the freedom of the human spirit, and the redemptive power of love. The master and Margarita, is a timeless and thought-provoking masterpiece that continues to captivate readers with its inventive storytelling, profound philosophical themes, and insightful commentary on human nature and society. Bolgakov's legacy lives on through this novel that remains as relevant and captivating as ever.